poppin' boys and girls? It's your man, Just Jay Sama, and I'm back with another video. Oh, man, yo, <laughs> Jay's making content content. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I indeed am. Matter of fact, hold on. Let me bring this microphone closer so y'all know it's legitimately me. What's poppin'? So today we are talking about the return of the boy, <laughs> okay? The young man himself. Tom Holland is coming back as Spider-Man and Peter Parker in Marvel's MCU. Now, check this out. I know there's been a lot of outrage, and I would have made a video originally on why he was leaving and everything like that. But um, it wasn't necessarily necessary at the time. So, essentially, what has happened now is, according to Variety, uh, I, I guess they're still technically a magazine, according to Variety Online, uh, they did an interview with Kevin Feige where he confirmed that Sony has indeed brokered a deal with Marvel Studios. So originally what had happened was uh, Sony and Marvel were splitting... I basically like Sony was producing a lot of these and they were like putting up all the money for it while Kevin Feige and the staff over at the MCU were running the actual movies, which are great. Not saying Sony can't successfully make a Spider-Man movie because uh, they've proven it only a few times and like as <laughs> i have to say the best spider-man movie yet is into the spider-verse like and that's a sony movie so i like the fact that they can make that but that's their animation department and whoever wrote that and the screenplay and all that other stuff goes into the factor doesn't necessarily translate over to their live action and columbia pictures and like them doing all that stuff you know what i mean like the two sections are different so here on uh, Variety's page, they actually talk about it right here. Hold on, let me see. Uh, the new deal was set for late Thursday night, which was yesterday. Negotiations involved all the top players from both studios, blah, 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 blah. Originally, they were... Sp uh, Feige wanted to split everything. Well, not just Feige, but Disney themselves wanted to split everything 50-50. But Sony was like, nah, we're putting up the money for this. We deserve the box office. So now it's looking like uh, they both are roughly going to receive 25%. Um, Marvel and Disney will receive roughly 25% of the profits according to insiders. So that's according to insiders, but you know, all, obviously a lot of this stuff could be fabricated and maybe a little more, a little less. So we can only take it with a grain of salt. But what we do have here is a quote from Kevin Feige himself. I am thrilled that Spider-Man's, that Spidey's journey into the MCU will continue and I... And all of us at Marvel Studios are very excited that we will keep working on it. And I am just, you know what? I'm through the moon excited about this because Spider-Man is one of my all-time favorite superheroes. Like, as far as, like, in general. <laughs> so not just Marvel. But seeing them finally come to this deal is just amazing. Because previously, Kevin Feige had said that it was just a miracle that the deal happened in the first place. Never in the history of ever have, have two powerhouse studios, and yes, Sony is considered a powerhouse studio, work together to do something like this. So he was saying the one in a million shot that we had to even get Spider-Man for as long as we've had him was nothing but a miracle. And you know what? Kevin Feige, salute to you, my guy. Thank you so much. We really, really, really appreciate you in the in like the fandom, you know, not just um, filmmakers and aspiring actors and you know any any potential people like that, but fans and people who enjoy watching movies. We all thank you very much, and thank you Sony to actually playing ball. Like we understand that. Uh, at least I do. I understand that this is a situation where it's like, no, it has to be mostly beneficial on our part because if the MCU wants to continue, they need our property. So a lot of people were really like throwing shots at Sony at first until all of the logistics came out and it was Disney who was like trying to get greedy and all this other stuff, which is great. I understand, that, well, not necessarily great, but I understand everybody wants to make a buck and everybody wants to like, you know, have access to Spider-Man. But unfortunately, this is just one of those things where like, you got to bite the bullet and do it for the fans. You know what I mean? Like if you're creating great things, which Spider-Man Far From Home, Spider-Man Homecoming, uh, <laughs> the uh, Civil War, all of these things Spider-Man has been in and they're amazing. So uh, not to say that Sony can't carry the mantle themselves because a lot of people are really just like, oh, uh, Spider-Man's not going to be able to do this and that and the other thing. But really, Spider-Man can carry his own, honestly. Not too long ago, it was reported that Spider-Man was going to get his own movie that Sony was 
producing and writing and they were handling all of it. Not only can Spider-Man carry his own, but I decided to bring this up. The <laughs> Some higher ups over at Sony have talked about previously putting Madam Web in Tom Holland's Spider-Man series. Now, when you introduce Madam Web, now I'm not a huge, huge comic head. There's a lot of things that I've skimmed through, a lot of things that I have read, but when you include Madam Web, there's most likely some other Spider-Man that are included. So I don't know if this Spider-Man deal is going to kind of mix a bunch of the Spider-Verse stuff Sony had going because I know with Venom and Tom Holland like trying to, you know, well, Tom Hardy and Tom Holland being in the same movie was definitely a possibility on Sony's end, which I was very, very excited to see because when you see two completely tone different things cross with each other like that i'm sure sony was going to either one of two things blow it up really really bad or it was going to be really really amazing so um i really really had faith in that and also i had faith in the absolute possibility that we could be getting a potential actual live action spider-verse we're talking Peter Parker with Tobey Maguire, we're talking Andrew Garfield, we're talking a possible Miles Morales casting, and Tom Holland, and they're, let's say, I don't know, in the kind of Venom universe. How crazy would that be? Like, that's the Spider-Verse, or, you know, they just follow the actual animated Spider-Verse method. That would be really cool too. But, you know, I mean, these are all things that we could speculate and we could talk about all day, but I mean, your boy is trying to do his best to infiltrate this world so that way uh, I could potentially be a a voice among all of the movies that are being made and stuff like that. I would really want to help, like, honestly, like, if I had to pick a position, like, going from YouTuber to, like, filmmaker, I would love to be able to help Warner and, like, really understand like a lot of their stuff that they have going on because whatever they're doing they're creating a cinematic universe but also not a cinematic universe so and then they have 15 different properties of across five different you know rather streaming platforms tv movies tv sh like other stuff like that like they just have tons of stuff going on and i would love for there to be a kevin feige and i use quotations because of what his position is in the MCU as well as you know developing all the films and stuff like that and creating the roadmap and there needs to be somebody in that position for DC I'm sure there's somebody there now I don't know who it is I haven't done the necessary research but I mean you know <laughs> that's another video for another day but let me know what you guys think now that Spider-Man is back in the MCU are you happy about this are you a little upset what do you think do you think Sony could do it all on their own if they decided to keep Spider-Man let me know down in the comments section so if you enjoyed today's video make sure to give today's video a like subscribe to the channel if you are new also make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter so that way you can get all of your daily updates literally like everything i'm working on i always tweet it or i always put it in my instagram story so make sure to follow me we can share some memes you know tag me in some stuff that'll be great also if you're looking to become a sponsor for the channel scroll down there's a link in the description specifically for that you can actually uh <laughs> support the channel so much so much more uh, and you also can submit your own video ideas have you in live streams stuff like that and we're going to be doing a q a later on this year uh, so hopefully we can hit 10k by the end of the year. I'm really really excited to do that um, Also, if you got any of you guys are going to LA comic-con make sure to uh, hit me up on social media Instagram Twitter, whatever you can find me on uh, <laughs> And tell me what's up like yo, we'll get together. We'll hang out. We'll you know uh, I, I, don't, I don't really know. I've never really done like a convention like meetup or anything like that but now that I'm trying to go to more things um, unfortunately, I'm not going to TwitchCon, but I am going to LA Comic Con. So if you guys are in LA at the time, I think it's in October something. Yeah, if you guys are in LA and you want to meet up, that would be really dope. So uh, let's get something started, you guys. Anyway, this has been your boy, Just Jay Sama. I'll see you guys next time. Make sure to keep it canon.